got these results, I was like, Adrienne of Adrienne's House, and today I'm coming at you with my Ancestry.com results. Now, I know you're probably saying that is so 2015, 2016, and it is. Um, but believe it or not, that's when I actually bought the test, and it just kind of sat in a drawer um, until recently. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Yeah, the original reason uh, why I hesitated so much is that there was all these conspiracies. Like, now you're willingly giving the government your DNA and you do kidney matches. And if some rich 1% needs your kidney, they can find you and have you killed. And if one of your family members uh, murders someone, then the DNA is on file and they can catch them. It's like, <laughs> family members, if you're watching this, don't murder someone. You're going to get caught. Oh yeah, and since I guess Ancestry is, I don't wanna say not that popular, but not as trendy anymore. Honestly, this only took me, uh, or excuse me, it only took four weeks to get the results. So yeah. So yeah, so doing a little background, um, I am considered mixed biracial. Um, I know mixed is kind of a, a a broader umbrella term because uh, depending on where you live, especially here in the United States, I mean, most people are mixed, um, but I'm, I guess, considered biracial. My mom is white. My dad is black. Um, so that makes me now. Um, but from what my understanding was, mom is obviously white. I was always told it was French, uh, Irish, Native American. Now, my father, now, unfortunately, my father passed away when I was a teenager, but clearly he's uh, black, African-American, Native American, and then whatever white that was in there was some sort of like blonde white, I guess. Now, when I got my results, was I shocked? We'll see. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just go over those with you. I'm going to go from least to greatest, because don't get me wrong, there's a lot of 1%, 2%, 3%. Um, so let's get started. All right, so starting off, we have 1% Wales, which is obviously the UK, 1% uh, Norway. Now, isn't that, that's like the white white, like super blonde, I guess. <laughs> so 1% Norway, 1% Sweden and Denmark, hmm, 1% one, one percent indigenous to the North Americas. I was shocked about that. Um, not really, because I've been seeing back when this was a trend back in 2015, 16, a lot of black folk, African-Americans were super shocked that they had super, super low Native American. So while I always thought I had Native American, at least on the mom side, maybe not so much the dad side. 1%. My grandmother, my uh, maternal grandmother would be shocked. She insisted. Now their family came from Canada. We're going to talk about that in a minute. 1% Indigenous Americans. So what does it say? Indigenous America's North. Whatever. I'm glad to have 1%. Um, okay. So we're done with the 1%. Now we got 2% Ireland. 2% Ivory Coast and Ghana, 3% Scottish, 4% Senegal. Okay, so here's the top four. Am I shocked? We'll see. All right, so top four. 7% Benin, or is it Benin? Benin? Benin and Togo. 9% Cameroon, Congo, and Western Bantu peoples. Top two. Top two, are you ready? 25% Nigerian. And the number one, 44% France. So when I first got these results, I was like, I already knew that. I was not impressed. I was like, okay. This didn't tell me anything that I 
didn't already knew, didn't already know, uh, most African Americans that came into this country were clearly enslaved and it was almost always uh, West Africa. Um, and then my mom's side was primary, well, I knew they were French, but they were more on the Canadian end. So that's one little thing I don't know for sure, but my white side didn't uh, partake in the enslavements of African Americans. I don't know, who knows, who knows? But anyway, moving with that or leading with that, um, what's really cool about Ancestry.com is that they also uh, give you an idea of where your ancestors settled. That I didn't know. Um, so from my father's side, the paternal side, which is the African-American side, um, it says early North Carolina African-American. So I guess was that like the docking point, I guess. Um, so yeah, and I've watched a lot of ancestry videos that a lot of people say the same thing. So early North Carolina African-Americans and then more recently East Texas, oops, East Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana. My father was from Texas, from Marshall, Texas. I've never been, want to go someday. So I knew that. Now the mom's side, uh, Southwestern Quebec, New York and Vermont French settler. So my grandmother, she was from Vermont, Winooski, Vermont. There, I've been there for a family reunion. And then uh, previous to that, it was Quebec and it's a French name. Let me try to get, since I'm, since I'm French, you know. Uh, Montel, Montelligy, whatever. Montelligy, Quebec, Northeastern New York and Northwestern French Vermont settlers, so. Anyway, so if you add those up, basically. I'm white. White. Right! Now, of course, take all of this with a grain of salt. I've heard stories where people will take, now mine was from Ancestry.com, but some people will take another one from 23andMe and have totally different results. Um, you could take it again and get different percentages. So I'm aware of that. I am taking this with a grain of salt, but I thought this was totally, I thought this was fun. It was fun. So good to know. And uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys. So anyway, on that note, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, I didn't say this earlier. Please like and subscribe and comment on this video. It'll uh, really help me out a lot. Um, who else has done Ancestry.com? Who knows? If you have, log in. Maybe we're related. Anyway, on that note, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.